The electronic or the physical components that are used in a computer are called hardware. The set of programs responsible for the smooth running of a computer system is called software. Types of software. Software can be categorized in various ways. Number one, you have system software. System software is a program specifically designed to control various activities of a computer system. It manages the smooth working of the hardware as well as software components of the computer. It establishes a link between hardware and the user's programs. The best example is the operating system. Some other system softwares are explained below. Compiler. It is a translator that converts the user's program written in high-level language into machine code that a computer can understand. Interpreter. This performs the task same as a compiler. The only difference is that the interpreter converts the program into machine code line by line. Assembler. An assembler is, an, is a translator that converts a program written in assembly language into machine code that a computer can understand. Loader. A system software that is used to transfer a program from secondary storage devices to the primary memory of the computer. Text editor. A system software used to provide a platform or a blank screen where a program can be written or edited. Application software. This is a set of programs that provides a platform for the user to carry out his or her tasks. Application software runs at the background of a system software or an operating system. It means we need an operating system for any application software to work efficiently. The application software can be categorized into the following two ways. General purpose application software and special purpose application software, which is the customized software. Coming to general purpose application software, an application software developed to serve different purposes of the user is said to be the general purpose application software. The examples are word processor. This application software is used to print a letter, notice, memo, etc. It allows easy modification and editing in the type document. Spreadsheet. It's an application package that is used to work with tabular data. So you put down values in various rows and columns. Database. An application software that allows users to organize data in a file. The file can be created with different data fields like name, class, role, address, etc. as per the user's requirement. Various operations on database files can be editing, modifying, searching, sorting, etc. Media Player, an application software that allows users to play audio or video files such as Media Player. Microsoft Edge, this is an application software that links users' computer with the internet. By using Microsoft Edge, you can browse any site on the internet. Special Purpose Application Software This type of application software is designed specifically to carry out only one type of task. For example, accounting system packages used to perform account-oriented tasks. Inventory Control System or Stock Control keeps the record of ready stock of various items of a company. Suppose your school wants to computerize the result tabulation as per personal specifications of the school. The programmer creates the software to fulfill all the needs of the school. Utility Software As you know that system software is designed to help analyze, configure and optimize or maintain a computer. Utility software is a system software that performs specific tasks related to managing a computer, its devices or programs. Backup. A backup is a copy of the files 
of that particular file made on the hard disk of the computer. So that in the time of an emergency, supposing the system crashes, you have a backup storage available. How will you define backup of a file? What is its advantage? Backup is a system software that allows you to maintain a copy of your file on the hard disk. It helps in case of an emergency. If the original file is crashed, the backup file is used. Scanning a hard disk drive. Sometimes your computer may be virus affected and does not allow the normal functioning of your computer. Scanning is the process to detect and remove viruses from the computer system. Defragmentation is a system to collect scattered segments of a file and organize them in one specific place in the hard disk. Some definitions. Booting. Booting is a starting up procedure that loads the operating system in the computer's memory. Virus and unwanted data that enters into the computer and disturbs the normal functioning of the operating system. Scanning. What is the difference between system software and application software? System software controls and coordinates the hardware of the computer. Example, Windows, Linux, etc. Application software is a set of instructions that are designed to perform a specific task. Example, Paint, MS Word, etc.